Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining Mother and Refuge of the End Times. The third secret of Fatima has garnered much attention over the years. You will recall that it was first given to three little shepherds, Lucia dos Santos and her two little cousins, Francisco and Jacinta Marto, at Fatima, Portugal, in 1917. Our Lady had requested that it be published at the earliest of either Lucia's passing or 1960. Yet Pope after Pope refused to publish the message. In the early 70s, a message of great urgency was given to Sister Agnes Sasagawa of Akita, Japan. When Bishop Ito submitted the message to Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, the then prefect of the dicastery for the doctrine of the faith for approval, he was speechless when the cardinal immediately gave his approval, declaring that both the message of Akita and the third secret of Fatima were essentially the same. In the year 2000, Pope John Paul II released the vision part of the Third Secret of Fatima, stating that the message was now complete. Immediately, rumors began swirling that another part of the secret had yet to be revealed by the Vatican, and they were right. It so happens that Our Lady's explanation of the Third Secret given to Lucia had been hidden in the secret Vatican archives all along. This explanation was finally revealed in 2022 by Marian expert and author Xavier reyes Serral in his best-selling Marian anthology entitled Revelations, the Hidden Secret Messages and Prophecies of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Following many years of working alongside famous exorcist and Marian theologian and Vatican investigator, Monseigneur René Laurentin. What you may not know is that in May 1994, just like with Sister Agnes Sasagawa, Heaven revealed the third secret of Fatima to Father Raymond Arnett a French traditional priest, and it reads like this. L'Église saignera de toutes ses plaies. That is, the Church will bleed from all her wounds. In an article written for the Papanga blog on March 16, 2021, author Ding Cervantes writes, The voice went on to say, There will be a wicked council planned and prepared that will change the countenance of the Church. Many will lose the faith. Confusion will reign everywhere. The sheep will search for their shepherds in vain. End quote. Could the synod referred to be the synod of synodality, which begins in October? The message continues quote, A schism will tear apart the holy tunic of my son. This will be the end of times, foretold in the holy scriptures and recalled to memory by me in many places. The abomination of abominations will reach its peak, and it will bring the chastisement announced at La Salette. My son's arm, which I will not be able to hold back any more, will publish this poor world, which must expiate its crimes, the voice said. Could this abomination of abominations also be the same as the one prophesied by Father Michel when he was told that the changing of the words of the consecration would render the Eucharist devoid of Christ and trigger the warning? Father Arnett's message continued, One will only speak about wars and revelations. The elements of nature will be unchained and will cause anguish even among the best, the most courageous. The Church will bleed from all her wounds Happy are they who will persevere and search for refuge in my heart, because, in the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. Then Father Arnett only heard one more sentence, quote, This is the third secret of Fatima. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge.